Hey, what up YouTube? This is Mr. Noor14, and today I want to talk about the Inkbird Smart Home Smart Life BBQ IPT6X Smart Wireless Barbecue Thermometer. Now you guys know I love thermometers. Um, it's that season, it's summertime. I've been smoking this whole summer vacation. And just to get this Inkbird Smart Home Smart Life BBQ Go, 6X has just made me so happy. And I'm gonna tell you why, because it has six probes, okay? The last one I had only had two, but this puppy has six probes, okay? And not only that, it is a smart device. And what I mean by smart device, it comes with an app. So basically, you can walk up to 150 feet away, okay? You're always carrying your phone. Your phone is always with you. You just open up the app and voila, the app is pretty much going to tell you if your food is at temperature, if the device you're cooking in is keeping a consistent temperature, and you can do up to six pieces of meat. I mean, this is crazy, people. This is crazy. And just to add the smart feature with this is, again, just amazing. So let's check this out. Let's open this bad boy up and let's see what Inkbird wants to offer. Offer you. So we got that open. First thing that comes out is an Inkbird warranty card. Basically, they're going to give you 12 month warranty on this device and as you see this little inkbird uh icon here you basically scan that into your phone and it will automatically download the app for you so you just take that go to this website and voila you'll have a one year warranty also what comes with it is pretty much the bbq manual showing you how to use it basically Shows you how to set it up. Again, gives you the little icon down at the bottom so that you can scan to download the app. Even shows you how you can use it. One probe is monitoring the heat while the other probe is monitoring the meat or the chicken you have. I mean, this is very awesome. If you turn this around, it's going to show you pretty much how to use the app. And it's going to show you any warning signs. Now, another thing that's good is that this has a max temperature of 482 degrees. Now, most time when you're in America or something made in America, it usually just say 500. But that's close enough to it, so that's really no problem. And like I said, it is Bluetooth. So you can be up to 150 feet away with this. And it's still going to censor your food and let you know what the temperature is at. So okay, now the second thing we have is the actual unit itself. Let's pull that out. Take a look at that. That is nice, isn't it? Like I said, you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six probes. Okay, now another thing that's neat about this is that this is the actual unit and it's gonna take a little time here because it does a really good seal okay so voila this is the case that's gonna hold it and protect it and this is the actual unit right here as you can see it's nice it's durable place for the batteries and you're going to put two batteries in there as you can see and I believe it's two AA batteries nope two AAA batteries you're going to put in there in order to start this up so let's get that back on there secure there voila Okay, and now it says you want to place this between the two and the three to put it back in here properly. Okay, so you want it between the two 
and the three you want the power button between the two and the three okay and as you can see that looks nice that's right there okay let's go inside here and see what we get okay what are these here these are the stands and you're gonna get two of these three of these stands okay and basically what the stand is for is so that you can uh, put this in your smoker or on your grill and monitor the temperature of your grill make sure it's maintaining a proper temperature okay now see what else we got here that comes with this inkbird smart home smart life bluetooth wireless thermostat look at these these are the actual probes you're going to be sticking into the food and everything look high quality stainless steel the temperature things are protected nicely gives you a long cord like i told you this is going to keep a temperature up to 482 degrees fahrenheit okay so you can say about 500 you don't want it any hotter than that or these probes might melt but that's usually the standard temperature that most you know thermostats or thermometers allow you to get okay but like i said as you can see this looks nice as far as what you're getting here okay now on the actual site you can get this the inkbird site for the product you can get this for about 49 dollars i looked on amazon and they had this bad boy for about 62 dollars you know and so i was like wow once i got it and got it out and saw this is well worth the price i mean just the amount of probes you get six uh just how sturdy it is how it comes with this little docking station here for you so that you can mount it you can get this in different colors you can get it in orange or red i chose black so as you can see it just blends in everything um i'm going to take this outside and actually going to cook some chicken probe some chicken and my smoker uh, you know making sure that it's ke uh, keeping a good temp so i'm going to have two uh chicken pieces of chicken two halves of a chicken in there and i'm also going to use a probe to uh make sure that my smoker is keeping temperature so right now i just wanted to show you pretty much what came out the box here as far as the warranty the manual the probe holder here that lets you do the uh, temperature of what actual device you're using smoker making sure it's at a stable temperature you actually got the probe here itself and like I said it's six and this comes out so that you can put the batteries in okay this this is the case to hold it this is the main unit right here and you want to put put this in between the two and the three the two and the three and then it makes a good seal and these are the thermometer probes so when i come back i'm going to have this outside sitting with the smoker it's going to be all hooked up and monitoring our chicken we're going to see how good it does as far as the app and everything okay so i'll be right back I'm going to show you how to download the app and set that up, okay? And then we're going to go outside and do some cooking. So this is Mr. Noor. Uh, just stay with us a little bit longer. Okay, YouTube. This is the Inkbird BBQ Go Bluetooth Thermostat 6 Probe Unit. This is it working. As you can see, I got some chicken in the smoker. I cut it in half. I got one half. Uh, on probe one, I got the other half on probe two and probe three. I am monitoring the temperature of my smoker. Okay, so basically, I want my smoker to be at 250 degrees, and I basically want it to stay plus or minus that 250, and that's what that third probe is doing. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to let you know how the results were from actually putting this thing through the test and putting it outside with my smoker and letting you know how I truly feel about this. Also, I'm going to go in depth and do a great review on the actual software or app that comes with this. So I hope you enjoy. This is Mr. Noor and I'll see you in a second. Hey, 
Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Mr. Nor14, and I'm doing the last bit of the review on the Inkbird Smart Home BBQ Go 6 Probe Wireless Thermometer. Okay, now this thing is amazing. Okay, I've done an unboxing, I've went in and actually step by step walked through and did a review on the app. And I also am doing like this final review. And what this is, this final review, is I actually have it hooked up to my smoker. I got two pieces of chicken in. Um, I also have a pro monitoring the actual temperature of the smoker. And let me tell you, this thing is a beast. I've walked all around my house because it says you should get 150 feet of Bluetooth connectivity. It's true. I'm in my basement now, and uh, it's working. Everything's up, and it's a go. It's outside. I mean, this app is so smooth, so sophisticated. It even tells you the battery life of the unit, okay? So you'll know. If you lose connection, it will send you a message on your phone saying, hey, I've lost Bluetooth connectivity. So maybe the batteries are down, you know, maybe something happened, uh, but it's just you need to check on and see what's going on. So this thing is just amazing. So like I said, I'm just going to show you the app here. As you can see, I got two pieces of chicken. It's really one piece, but cut in half. Okay. Uh, I, like I said, I go into detail about the app, okay? But right now, I'm just showing you why this thing is so amazing, okay? So as you can see, I got two pieces of chicken in. It's telling me one is at 154 degrees, one is at 145. It's telling me that my smoker is maintaining a temperature of 250 because that's where I have the chicken cooking. It's saying it's fluctuating from two to three degrees but it's within the tolerance plus or minus five so that's excellent and as you can see you can set your your probe up to do something like that to watch the how your how your smoker or how your grill temperature is actually doing so if you want a specific temperature like I wanted in my smoker at 250 it's monitoring that it's saying it's gonna let me know if it go above 255 and below 245 degrees but right now it's solid it's hitting at 250 that's telling me that th that my smoker is working perfectly and it's doing what it's supposed to do but that's not all this does it also graphs your food. You see that with the time and how long it took you get how long it took to reach a certain temperature okay but let's go to me monitoring my smoker if I hit three now that's information I need right there it tells me how long it took after I put the food back in for my smoker to reach uh, 250 and it's now telling me how long it's maintained it. So that's just information as a griller you want to know when you buy certain pieces of equipment because you go out there and you spend all this money and you want to know if your smoker is even maintaining temperature. You know, if you have a grill and that grill is maintaining temperature or if you have an infrared grill or an oven are they maintaining temperature and with this app it tells you all that okay I mean you can set this to chicken you can set this to beef you can set it to anything that's why this thing is so awesome you know I still have a fourth probe I could go in there and I could put some more meat in there and just set anything but again I I go through everything on the app and how to use the app by itself because the app itself is just it's just so much to it does so much and you really have to have somebody explain this app to you and actually walk you through it so I have this part just telling you that the Inkbird uh, barbecue go six probe uh, wireless thermometer does great 
okay? It does exactly what it's supposed to. I got the base hooked up outside. I got pictures. I'll have that uh, at the end of the review so that you can see how it looks when it's, it's uh, hooked up to your smoker or whatever you're using. I mean, this thing is just amazing. You know, apps really don't excite me anymore because you've seen them. Apps been out for a while since the irritation of the first iPhone and things like that. But only a few apps really take me by surprise. And let me tell you, this thing is awesome, okay? Like I said, I'm getting the 150 feet. I walked all around my home with this, okay? I can see the temperatures. I can you change the temperature if I want. I can uh, change the doneness if I want. You know, I, it's just it's so versatile. It's so easy to do. And as you can see, my chicken is almost done. At least the one that's closest, uh, the one that's on the bottom, which is closest to the wood. Okay, that's telling me it's at 158, where the one that's just above it is at 147. And that's great to know. Okay, because usually when you think one half is done, you know, if you don't have more than one probe, you're like, okay, the top is done, so the bottom is done, you know. But no, you actually know you don't have to guess what your food. Like, I can go out there, pull the top one out, still leave the bottom one in, okay. But like I said, this thing is amazing. Um, if you go to the inkbird.com site, they sell it. And you can get it for like forty some forty nine dollars. I seen it on Amazon when I went there for about sixty two dollars. So go and see where you can get the best deal at. But it is worth sixty two dollars. Now I did a review on a previous thermometer, and this beats that hands down, hands down for the simple fact that you know you have the app and it just adds so much more to the thermometer. But look at these probes. Look at these probes. Look how well they're put together. You know, usually you worry about the ends of this. You know, oh, here we go. I got an alert. As you can see from the smoker. And it's telling me my probe 3 that it just went above the 255 mark. So that's something I might want to find out about and uh, see why it's doing that. Okay, now it's telling me it went back down. Okay, so it's getting a little hotter and it's going up and down, but it, 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 it passed that mark. You know, it's sending me little notes here saying, hey, it passed that mark, but it went back. Okay, so as you can see, this is amazing. I mean, just, so it's at 253 now, so it, it fell back down. So it's maintaining that plus a plus or minus see now it's at 255 so as long as this is get, keeping that plus or minus five points then I have nothing to worry about I know my smoker is doing its job and you're getting alerts like that you know this is real time so I'm going a little bit over over uh, what I wanted to because uh, I mean this app is just so amazing I mean I, I it really hasn't been an app that really excited me you know this much in a long time especially with a thermometer so this is the IBBQ 6X Inkbird wireless thermometer the app is called BBQ Go it's on Amazon or Android I mean it's on Android excuse me or iPhone and uh, it's just amazing and check out both reviews check out the actual review where I'm doing uh, the unboxing with the actual hook up and how this thing is working and then I have just the app by itself because it's so many things that this app does that I had to go in depth. I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Mr. Nor 14. I'm out. Peace. Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is Mr. Nor 14 and basically I showed you about, uh, I showed you the uh, Inkbird thermometer. It's a smart thermometer. It's wireless. It's basically one of those high-tech thermometers that you can use with an app. Now, I told you I would show you how to install the app. So, basically, it's very simple. If you have a smartphone, which I have here, as you can see, you see where it says barcode scanner? You just go to the barcode scanner. You go to the booklet. 
and you scan the barcode okay uh, this is just nonsense right here so you can X out of here and then you see the little link here that says hwinkbird.com you hit that right there it's gonna say do you have an uh, iPhone or do you have uh, a Google phone so it's gonna say which store you want to download the app I have a Google I mean a Google an Android app so it's gonna come right here like this and then I'm going to install the app it's very simple you don't gotta register for anything you basically just install the app okay now we're gonna open that app up and the app is called the BBQ Go app okay like I said it's very simple to use and it has so many features people so many features so as you can see it has the home button here and we're gonna go right into this if you hit the menu button here okay basically what you're getting on this page is just where you can set settings and things like that for the thermometer for instance if you hit thermometer you can say if you want to do Fahrenheit or Celsius if you want to get notifications from the phone if things are wrong you can set the intervals where you're going to get the alarms or notifications 10 minutes every five minutes and then you can go in there and adjust what the ringtone is going to be or if it vibrates or if you get a ringtone so basically this is pretty much the settings for the app when you push the menu button okay up here at the top push that like I said now triggered alarms let's say this device does go off you can go into this menu part go to trigger alarms and it will tell you why that alarm was triggered and what was wrong so let's say that for some apparent reason the battery dies okay and on your uh, thermometer well it's gonna send you an alert and it's gonna say hey this alert went off at this time and the reason why is because you no longer have a connection a Bluetooth connection to your thermometer okay and then you can change the language right now I got it set on auto it knows I'm in America so it's gonna put English then it's gonna tell you which version that this app is on which uh, software version is 1.7.1 and the thing about this that's so great is because they can update this app or the thermometer to do more than it does now so they can basically come up with an update that makes it pretty much do anything you know but that this that just means is that your thermometer because it's a smart thermometer it's always going to be up to date it can change and do new things at any time now they also have this feedback here so let's say if something happens or you have an issue you got a problem or you just want to give them advice and say hey here's something that can make your device even smarter okay they'll be more than happy to take your advice and uh, if your idea is good now as you can see here I got the uh, app and uh, it's not connected so I just wanted to come in here and show you how to use the app. As you can see, it's called the iBBQ6X. That means it has six, six, you know, it has six um, probes, okay, that you can use and cook all at the same time. So as you can see, I'm just rolling it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six probes can go into here. So let's talk about the app itself and what exactly it can do so you see here it says number one here on the left side if you push that you go into the app okay and for instance it has probe color indicator now what the probe color indicator is is let's say you're cooking chicken or you're cooking beef okay or you're cooking a vegetable which is green you can change the color of the probe so that you can know what type of food you're cooking okay so like you go in here and you say okay I'm for the first I'm cooking beef so you know that beef is red so you just hit the red you hit okay and if you go back out here to the main app you'll see that the one now is red okay so now you know that with this probe you're cooking meat so if you got three different you got meat chicken and vegetables in there you know that probe one is your uh, beef okay so then if you 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 tap the one again like I said it also has timer so let's say you wanted to go in and you want to use the timer 
for this. You cooking, let's say, some uh, pork loin. You know it's going to take about two hours. So you just set this for two hours and you can cook that way. Or let's say you're cooking a hamburger and you cook that hamburger and you say, okay, I want to flip that hamburger in six minutes. Say, so I'm going to cook the hamburger for about 12 minutes total. I want to flip it at six minutes. What you can do is set this for six minutes and then leave a note down here to say flip burger in six minutes. So not only will you, when that alarm goes off, it's going to tell you why that alarm went off. So that's just another added feature for it being a smart thermometer that you couldn't do with a regular thermometer. So let's look at here desired temperature. So you got that on there and as you can see it gives you all this desired meat. Like for instance you got beef, veal, lamb, pork, chicken, turkey, fish, hamburger. And not only that, when you do deal with beef or veal or lamb you get an, a, a, another added bonus. As you can see you can have it done rare you can have it done medium rare, medium, well, and well done. And each time you change it, it's going to give you a different temperature. Like you see for rare, it's 120. Well, let's say if I wanted it medium, it's going to say now 140. So it's automatically, automatically going to let you know your done temperature. You know, when that probe says that meat is 140 degrees, then you know it's good. It's how that person wanted that piece of steak cooked. So then all you do is say, okay, I got my beef, I want it medium. You go down to the bottom and hit set preset. Okay, so now it's going to set it. You hit it back like that. Now if you go back to the main screen, probe one is set up for beef. You want that steak medium. Medium is 140. That's when it's done. That's when that probe is going to go off and send you a notification and say, hey, that meat is done. Okay, you can go in here, trigger alarm, say, why is that alarm going off? It's going to tell you because probe one meat is done to medium at 140 degrees. Okay, so check this out. So now you got that set up. You got another probe. So let's say we got chicken. Okay, for this one, you just hit the two. You got the probe indicator. Okay, we know chicken is usually yellow. You hit OK there. You can either do it by time or you can do it by desired temperature. You can go here to chicken, highlight it, and it tells you chicken is done at 165. You can say that's perfect. You can set it. Go back to the main screen. You got one set at beef, one probe set at chicken, and you still have four other probes left. So let's say uh, we just got some pork line or something in there, some pork in there. And you know pork is usually done about uh, 145. Okay? But let's say you get in there, you know, okay, you want to pick a color for your pork. Okay? So you're going to say, hey, let's pick orange for the pork. There. Voila, you got that down. You're not going to use a time. You're going to use a temperature again. You see pork is on there. It's 145 degrees, but you say, you know what? I want it done at 150 degrees. Well, this is where this is really nice because not only do you have these preset temperatures, but you can also hit the plus sign here. And once you hit that plus sign, it says, hey, you can add a meat in there. Now, you can do it one or two ways, but let's just say we want to do it first by max temperature. So we go in here, max temperature. It says, what's the name of what you're cooking? So you put in pork line right there, and then you put in your temperature that you want that uh, pork done. You want it done at 150. So you want it five over the, the uh, time temperature that it normally is done, like at 145, but you got a bigger piece. And so you want it to cook a little bit longer. So then you hit done. You hit the check mark on the top right. Voila, you scroll down to the bottom, you have just added a meat in there. You hit set preset, you go back to the main screen. Now, you got beef for one, you got chicken for two, and three, you have something that you created yourself. Okay, so you're kicking a pork, 
it's bigger than the, uh, the pork you normally have so instead of 145 you want it to go to 150 okay we still have a probe left now let's say we are using the smoker okay we're using the smoker okay and so we want to know if the smoker is keeping the proper temperature okay so let's say in the smoker we cooking pork shoulder okay but we want to we want the pork shoulder to cook low and slow so we want it to cook about 225 okay so you basically what you do with this probe is that you take the probe and you sit it inside you don't put it in any meat you just sit it inside your smoker so that it can check the temperature of your smoker and make sure that it's keeping that 225 degree temp so this is what you would do with that so you would hit number four you would say what color I want that and you, so we can say yeah we're gonna keep that at blue because this is just gonna be monitoring the temperature of our smoker so we're gonna hit OK we are not worrying about a time or anything but we are worried about a desired temperature okay so we want to scroll up and we want to hit the plus sign here okay but instead of hitting max range we want to hit range temperature okay we want to put here we want to put temp smoker so that's the tip of our smoker okay now the highest temp we wanted to get okay usually if you have a smoker or any type of pellet grill or something like that it's usually what you want is it not to fluctuate no more than plus or minus five of the temperature temperature that you have so let's say the highest temperature you say you want it at 225 so you don't want your smoker to go behind 230 the highest temperature and the lowest temperature is 220 okay so you don't want it to go if it goes any higher than 230 or any lower than 220 then you want it to set off an alarm and tell you and say hey something's going on the smoker is not get keeping that 225 temperature it's fluctuating over your plus five negative five so then that that makes this even nice so let's say we we set the preset we're good to go we're gonna go back to the smoker we're gonna go back to our thermometer here we got one set up with the beef two set up with the chicken three with a pre-programmed thing that we set up in the temperature we set up okay not one that was already into it the one that we created and then we set up the temperature of the smoker so we wanted to monitor the temperature of the smoker and we said we want it to stay we want it to go no higher than 230 and no lower than 220 we cook in a pork shoulder and we want that pork shoulder to cook low and slow at about 225 degrees so it's going to tell us if our smoker goes anywhere behind that 230 or 220 okay now this is another thing that's good about this is that it has a graph if you see at the top right it's a little arrow pointing up and it's going to tell you so we're gonna to go to four it's gonna tell us and it's gonna give us a graph of how our smoker fluctuated plus or minus five from that 225 and if our smoker stayed between there then we know we got a good quality smoker that maintains its temperature and cooks your food at the proper temperature but you know you wouldn't know that with just a regular thermometer you couldn't get all this information that you're getting from this smart thermometer now I have to really give it to Inkbird I mean it's I'm still not even going into half the things that this thermometer can do you know it tells you if the batteries are dead and it's no longer getting the Bluetooth signal it'll let you know if you beyond 150 feet for that Bluetooth uh, to work I mean it's sending you alerts it's letting you know what's going on it can even tell you when to flip your meat or it can tell you when to check your me and you can leave a note to yourself with the app to tell you to hey do this specific thing okay the last thing I want to show you like I said it's so 
much more this thing can do. Let's go to Pro 5. Okay? And let's just automatically just go down to desired temperature. As you can see here, you see it says barbecue smoke, hot smoke, cold smoke. Basically, if you're using a smoker and you have a piece of meat or something that's in a smoker and you say you want to cold smoke it, basically what you're saying is that you want to add smoke flavor to it. So you don't want your temperature to go between, go high, uh, higher than 68, lower than 68, higher than 86. So if you're cold smoking something, that would be like some cheese. Okay, you just want to put that smoke flavor on something. You don't want to cook it or anything. You just want to put that smoke flavor on it. So you can put some cheese in. It even has a setting to cold smoke a piece of cheese. It even has a setting for a hot smoke. So you don't want it to go below 126, above 176 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is a hot smoke? Basically a hot smoke is, one, you're putting that float smoke flavor on the food and at the same time you're cooking it. So that's what a hot smoke is. Not only are you putting that smoke flavor into something, but you're also cooking it. And then they have a temperature called the barbecue, the BBQ smoke. And that's when you're actually cooking something. Not only are you flavoring it with the, with the taste of the wood, you're cooking it, and you're also turning those fats on top of that meat into liquid. And it's, you know, making your meat even more moist and delicious. Okay, it even has a setting for that to deal with a smoker. And that's what I like about that because I love smoking my food. And just to see that I have a thermometer that not only does fish, turkey, chicken, pork, lamb, veal, beef, and does it rare, medium, rare, well done, it also takes into account of a person who has a smoker and wants to do a cold smoke, a hot smoke, or just want to do a barbecue smoke. So like I said, this, this, this app is amazing. It just adds so much to this thermometer. And I, I just recently did a review on another thermometer. And I have to say that this is hands down, excuse me, hands down the best thermometer I have ever used just for the smart features. Okay, this is the Inkbird IBT6X BBQ thermometer. Okay, it is Bluetooth. It's wireless. You can use it for up to 150 feet. It has alarms to tell you when it loses a signal or if something is wrong with it. It has alarms to let you know when your food is done. It also has alarms to let you know when your food is halfway done and you need to flip it like if you were cooking a burger. I mean, this is so much as in this, uh, you know, app that is just amazing that makes cooking fun. Not only fun, but informative. And like I said, it even has a graph. A graph. So if you're cooking that, that meat, it's going to give you a little graph to show you how long it took your meat to reach that temperature. You know, and you're just going to get so much information from this app. And it's going to give you the, the ability to make some great tasting food. Okay, so this part, I'm going to do another part where I'm actually going to test out the features of the uh, thermometer. Actually put it in some meat, see how far can I get 150 meters from it. You know, do I have any technical issues with the thermometer or anything like that but I just wanted to explain the app I wanted to unbox it first and show you it then I wanted to go in and show you how to download the app and how to use the app and some of the features of the app and the last part like I said I'm going to do is basically just put it to, to you know put it to work you know seeing if I'm gonna have any issues with this okay so I'll be back with the third part of this. I hope you enjoy learning about just how to use the app. This is Mr. Noor, and I'm out for now. And like I said, I'll be back uh, with more. Peace out.